football's well and truly back. Yes, even the Premier League kick-started its campaign last night with Mr Erling Haaland scoring a brace as Man City beat Burnley 3-0. That being said, it's a fantastic day for me. My beloved Hammers are back and I'm going to watch Dartford away. You, you just you can't get much better than that. For those of you that say you can't support two teams, shut your mouth. You can support non-league and a Premier League side. I don't want to hear it. So with football being back, where are we going today? We are going to the Bob Luca Stadium, home of Weymouth FC, the side that just about scraped survival last year. Brilliant news for me because I'm not too far away from Weymouth. The plan is me and my brother will be getting a train, uh, head into the sports bar to watch Arsenal take on Nottingham Forest, um, play some pool, head off to watch Dartford and maybe even get back to watch the 5.30 kickoff. It is going to be a football pack day and I well and truly can't wait. The only thing that can make it fantastic is when West Ham take three points off Bournemouth and Dartford take all three points off of Weymouth. Can't wait, absolutely buzzing. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And today, you're coming along with me. Let's go for it. All right, mate. Cheers, then. Cheers, mate. Get a beer. We'll get the pre pre match on the train. Intro to Ali on the channel. No. Talking cigarettes, mixing cool, Dean up with a Finnegan. <laughs> Off the train, we've arrived. Good. Quick predictions oh. time. Predictions uh, time. Predictions Come on. Time. I tell you what, you will never see a Dartford vlog with me in it where I say Dartford will lose. Not one. You even draw. You're not so, going for a loss, are you? No. I said you won't. Oh, ever you won't. See Good. Me I didn't know Dartford if that was. Uh... So I'm going to go for a one. Neil Dartford today. One nil Dartford. I'm going three one Dartford. I've already done my predictions in the game week two. Thanks for all the uh, thanks for all the uh, love over there. Come on, you but can't. come on, we're so excited. We're so excited. Three one, one nil. Three points are coming we can't our way. Get through this way, so we're going to turn around. Off to get a stinking vape. Stinky boy. We got on this this sports bar. What is it? Four pints of Budweiser and pool for two hours for twenty two quid. You're so we're, we're here at 12 o'clock, England women's game's on, and then we got Arsenal Forest. It's going to be a cracking day, isn't it, son? If anyone doesn't appreciate women's football, just Yeah, go. get out, get, get out. No, I'm get not out. doing it. We I'm not love, doing it, mate, because it, uh, it annoys me. We, it are, we are not here for Arsenal, not. Not at all. <laughs> no. So there we go. Pull for a couple of hours, then it's game time. I oh, know. In pool, a 4 4 in pool. We've had nine. This is the ninth game. Mike has just left this black wide open for me. What do we reckon was going to happen? Mike, do you want to hold it, mate? Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. Get 25 and juice. Bargain, eh? All day, every day. We're snapping those bad boys up. <laughs> yes, sir. Pretty baby. That is terrible. We're not pissed. Titian is getting heated. Oh no, that's... Kick off burger review and a beer and a bit. The, the beer is about 12 quid for two beers, 12 quid for two burgers. It's an expensive day out for National South. This is what you get on the south coast, I'm afraid, guys. I know, but should we review them? Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. It's actually bang average. It's bang average. It's more than bang average. I'm giving that a five. I'll give that a six. No, yeah, that is bang. I'll give that a four. Wow, it's very flowery. The burger, the burger bread, is power, yeah. Burger to bread ratio is shocking. Nah, that's a four. It's, and it's six quid. Six yeah. for me. That is disgusting. Four. Four. Kick off next. They all start flooding over. Oh! Shocking. 
Go on. Go on. Oh. Go on. Go on. No, no one there. Let's get a shot. Oh my. How'd you find that, mate? Like the ball. Half time, one nil down. Can't say I enjoyed it. Not great. Not great at all. Be back with you for the second half. Yes! Go on, Luke. Oh. Go on, go on, get up. Go on. Oh, been absolutely shit. But 10 minutes added time has given us a bit of a lifeline. 10 minutes. Has it? Has it? 10 minutes. Has it? We've been that bad. Have we been that bad though? Seriously? Been, I think we could have another 90 minutes and it wouldn't really. Uh, we've oh, been sorry, so bad. Language. Ten minutes at a time, but we don't look like we're going to score. We really don't. We're going to win 3 1. Come on, come on, see. Hello everyone, it is your boy Football Talk here. Just cutting into the video quickly because although me and my brother did film a really good post-match at the stadium, uh, unfortunately there was so much background music but obviously we'd had a few too many beers uh, to realise it while recording. That being said, I really quickly just wanted to add my touch on my thoughts on the game itself because that's always uh, good fun. Um, in short, um, I think it's very harsh to say anyone necessarily deserved three points it was a bit of a, a rookie goalkeeper mistake that gave Weymouth um, uh, gave Weymouth all three points. But at the same time, um, we just weren't good enough. As you would have saw in the video, James said, um, we could have had another 90 minutes and we still didn't look like scoring. Um, Barzi went off injured. Um, we even got to the point where we were just playing three strikers on the pitch at one point and just, we just couldn't get anything going any momentum um, and to be fair I, all, I, all I'm saying is I definitely definitely don't think Dartford deserved to uh, necessarily get out anything out of that but maybe at the same time Weymouth were uh, quite lucky to take home all three points um, so a game of mixed emotions as usual we've come to um, one of the south or southwest teams and uh, um, it got punished um, as we always do me and James come to these games every year um, and they never ever ever turn out the way you want them to so um look fair play Weymouth that's brilliant for them first three points on the board for them uh Dartford still looking for that first win of the season uh which hopefully will come very soon so, yes back to the video Weymouth baby what's that spell? Stop, look! 